Hey guys, it's Troy. I wanted to create another video and show you the latest uh, of my Arduino flight controller. Uh, this is probably the third or fourth test now. Um, probably the third time actually that it's been actually connected to the quad so I can test the motor output. I currently only have rate mode programmed in. Uh, attitude mode is what I'm going to do next. I just haven't gotten a chance uh, to, to get it in there. And so I thought I'd start off actually by showing you my quadcopter. I don't know if I made any videos of this yet. Um, frame was bought off Amazon. It uses DJI arms, uh, DJI arms rather. Uh, it's an H setup, so it has space for a lot of extra components on top and inside the little middle compartment here. Um, this is obviously my Arduino on top, but here's the motors here. I usually run about nine by four and a half inch propellers. Uh, the speed controllers are mounted underneath here. Uh, I have from Flash to the Simon K firmware. Uh, for those of you that don't know what that is, uh, basically most speed controllers, when they get input, they'll get the average of that input and send it to the motors. Because uh, some motors can't react as quickly and don't need to react that quickly. Um, with quadcopters, that's a different story. You need that precision reaction. So what the Simon K firmware does is it removes the averaging. It sends the input exactly as a speed controller got it. Um, to kind of, and It gives you... I guess the, be the best way to see the difference is hovering with a quadcopter before and after you flash. Um, when you try and hovering with a quadcopter before you're flashing the firmware, before you flash Simon K firmware, you're constantly adjusting the throttle, trying to get the quadcopter to sit at where it's at, and you almost create this like wave, this oscillating wave. Um, when you have the firmware flashed, it's a lot easier to hover and just stay in one position. Um, so anyway, that flash those. Um, Here's my flight controller. I'll get a little closer here. Hopefully it'll be light enough. Um, but uh, this is a little shield that I made just to make it easier for me. Uh, right here is a three-axis gyro. Uh, here is the pressure sensor, the barometer. Right here is the accelerometer. Uh, I've used the shield to solder in some points for the inputs right here from the receiver. Which the receiver you can see is right here. Uh, it's just a standard Turnigy 9X receiver. Um, right here I soldered some points for the outputs for the speed controllers, right here. And it all just plugs in right to an Arduino Inyo. Uh, the, this is the I2C connector and these are all the inputs so I can switch up the pins. This will technically work uh, on an Arduino Mega, I'm sorry, this is a Mega. It will technically work on an Uno, uh, you just have to knock it down to six channels input. Um, so if you see here I have my transmitter, uh, it's a standard Turnigy 9X, I've modded it. You can see at the bottom there, um, I flashed the ER9X firmware, which is awesome. I highly recommend that. Um, the process to add this little port is pretty simple. It's well worth it. And I do have an LCD backlight on the way in. Um, so let's fire this thing up and let's see what it all looks like. I'm going to have to put the camera down for a second so I can plug the batteries in. I am recording with my fancy new GoPro Hero 3. It's a fun little camera. So I'm going to plug the battery in now. Actually, let me connect it to the voltage. Detector first. This is probably going to be loud, and I apologize. All right. So I don't know if you can see that there, but we are at about 3.94 volts, which is good for this battery. So I'm going to plug it in. You're going to hear the speed controllers beep about four times. Nope, that is not the reaction we wanted. So let's try it again. That is the reaction we wanted. All right. So those four beeps are the speed controllers telling me they have power, they are ready. Uh, you can see on the Arduino here, the green light is on. Um, now I did, the latest code that I've uploaded does have uh, arming in it. I did not put an LED to indicate whether or not the thing is armed or not. So when we first turn this on, nothing should happen because it's not going to be armed. And that is correct. You can see my, my little output there on this on the throttle and as I move this up and down the motors are not firing they're just doing their thing now if you look here at the receiver you see that the red light is on which means it is connected um, so all right so now let's arm it uh, arm it it's just power off y'all all the way to the left for two seconds again I don't have an indicator I that will be my next little hardware mod so now if I give it a little bit of power nope it was not armed Let's arm it again. Oh, there it goes. Okay, Tiger. All right, so we are in rate mode. So right now the, uh, the flight controller is not trying to level itself. And obviously there's no propellers on you, so it's not going to go anywhere even if it tried to. 
Um, but if we go to uh, about 50% throttle, if we go left, I don't know if it's coming out in the video, but you can hear it varying the output to the motors, which is pretty cool. Let's go 100% throttle. I'm gonna. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna knock it back down here. Slow it down. So here we're at about a quarter throttle. Um, hover for this quadcopter based on the weight is about 50% throttle. And now I'm gonna kill the throttle. Cool. And now let's disarm the quad. So we'll give it one second, two seconds. And now if I give it throttle, it goes nowhere. No power whatsoever. So, that's it for my quad. Uh, next step for this thing is I'm going to put attitude mode in. Um, that's basically where the level of the quad pretty much matches the right stick. And uh, yeah, that's probably going to take me a little bit to do. Uh, I did write a PID controller. I, I simulated one in JavaScript so I want to see what it was like before I put it in Arduino. Arduino has its own PID library which is, which is cool and I'll probably end up using that. Um, but I want to figure out how PID controllers work before I use someone else's code. So I'll put a link to that in the description um, and on the blog post. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.